light poles, and overhead signs. We drive underneath them or past them every day. What we don't see is the majority of the foundation which supports these structures. Columns made of concrete are constructed deep into the ground to keep these structures strong and safe. One type of structure foundation used by FDOT is commonly referred to as a drilled shaft. The size of columns varies based on soil conditions and the structure they're supporting. In our coastal environment, they are constructed strong enough to resist storms and hurricanes. These columns, or drilled shafts, are most commonly used when FDOT is constructing overhead signs, high-mast lighting, and mast arm traffic signals. They are also used to support bridges when deep or special foundations are needed. We use 30-foot depth and a 5-foot diameter auger. We drill down several feet at a time, recording the depth and remove the fill from the shaft. Column diameters or drilled shafts from 30 to 72 inches are common, with depths of 12 feet to support a traffic signal to more than 70 feet for a bridge foundation. Instead of driving a prefabricated column with a hammer, you drill a shaft into the ground, reinforce it with a steel cage, then pour in concrete for the needed foundation, constructing this structure directly on site. To keep the shaft from caving during the work, a slurry can be used. That can be a mixture of water and minerals, or maybe water and a resin substance. The slurry is pumped into the shaft to create a pressure that supports the walls during the work. In addition to the slurry, a steel cage can also be inserted and sealed at the bottom by rotating it into the rock at the base of the shaft. Then, as concrete fills the casing, the slurry material is displaced. The casing can then either be removed or left in place for increased stability. Here's what you can expect during work to install drilled shafts. Some noise and vibration but usually not as much as is created by pile driving. To perform the work safely, lane closures, traffic shifts, or detours may be needed. It's important that you drive with caution in highway work zones. Observe the posted speed limit. Don't follow too closely. Be alert for construction workers, vehicles and equipment, and avoid cell phones or other distractions. We appreciate your patience during highway construction and we'll do our best to get you home safe. For more information on installing drilled shafts or other subjects, contact the Florida Department of Transportation.